In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a complete setup of your Epson EcoTank ET2760 printer. So let's start with the unboxing. And you know this printer is really good for home or office. If you really want to print a lot of pages, it will save the money. It can print 7500 black pages and 6000 color pages with the ink available in this printer. So let's start with the unboxing. So once we switch on the printer, now we have to select our language. Now click OK. To fill the ink we have to open the ink cartridge chamber. Now open this door and lift it up until it stands. Now lift this section up. Now we have to install the ink one by one. So take the ink out of this plastic packaging. Open the cap. Open this. Now place the ink here and press this bottle little bit until you heard the sound now wait for the complete fill once you see the chamber is full simply shake the bottle and take it out close the cap and you can keep it away close the lid now open the next for example I have yellow so it's very easy and simple to install the ink you simply have to press it down and just wait for the ink to completely fill the chamber. Once it is done, shake the bottle and take it out. Now complete the process for remaining two ink. So magenta. So this is the one. So we have filled all the ink tanks. Now we close this chamber. Press the lid down with pressure and then let it go. Now go to the main screen. On the screen we have to press and hold the question button for 3 seconds. Now release it confirm that the ink is filled so click on the start button so this is the start button now it takes around 10 minutes now the process is complete now click ok next thing is to install the paper now paper can be installed at the rear side so here and place it here adjust the size Go to the screen, confirm it, so click OK. We can adjust the print quality, so click on the adjust button, print, now give a print command. If there are any missing segments, if not, then click. So printing is OK, so I'll select there are no missing lines, so click OK. Next thing is to adjust the print position, so click OK again and click on the print command. On the next page we have to look for the printout and choose the boxes with the least lines. So you can see here some boxes have lines in between, so we have to choose the one without lines. So click OK to proceed. So hash 1, number 3 is ok for me, so I will click proceed, hash 2, number 6 is ok, so I will increase to number 6 and then click ok, hash 7, number 6 again. So once we complete it, so it's done. Now click 
print again so that will go to the next step so it's done in the three steps so in this hash one we have to select the one without overlapping go to the screen and click ok to proceed so select without overlapping or without distance so I can see the number 5 is best for us and click OK. Now click OK as the alignment is done and you can see the main screen of your printer and we are ready to, to connect it with the Wi-Fi network or we can use a USB cable to start printing and scanning. From here we can start copy. If you have any page we can do the copy right now. For example open the top scanner lid. You can simply place the page here facing downwards look for the arrow mark on the printer now in the copy mode you can see there are lots of options so whatever option you want you can start with that for example the color and give a command for the copy here is the print result so print quality is good so there's nothing wrong with it so let's go ahead and do the setup for wireless. Now go to the printer screen. Now scroll ahead and look for the Wi-Fi setting. Here we can see the Wi-Fi setup. Click OK. Click Wi-Fi recommended. Click OK to proceed. Wi-Fi setup wizard. Yes. It will display the list of Wi-Fi networks available in its range. Select your Wi-Fi network and click OK. Now use this circle like button to select numbers and alphabets. And now start with the numbers with the arrows up and down. Once it's done, go to the next. Then again, click OK to proceed and wait for the connection to set up. Setup is complete. So we can print the report, so just press this button. So this is the network connection checkup sheet. So that means printer is connected. You can see the main screen here. And the last step is to connect this printer. Last, last step is to add it in any device. For example, I'm going to add it in my iPhone. Now go to the Epson iPrint app. You can download this app from the App Store. On the top select this section select the home wait for your printer series to appear 2760 select it instantly it will add up here it will display all the it will display all the details of your printer go back to the home button and we are ready to use it for scanning and wireless printing to do a scan we can simply click on the scan button and place any page facing downwards on this screen so make sure you place like this towards the arrow and then click on the scan button here we can see the scan has arrived and if you want we can just save it or we can share it and the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do the print for example print photos now simply click on the share button scroll up and look for the print so here is the print button now select your printer on this section epson et2760 series and once we are ready click on the print button on the top here is the print result so we can see so that's the print quality so it's just on the letter paper I have printed you can use a proper printing paper photo paper and the quality will be really nice and the next time I'm going to show you how to connect with the computer or a laptop simply go to your Windows laptop open the start button go to the settings in the settings we have to click on the devices select printers and scanners on the top you will see add a printer or a scanner button so simply click on it and wait for your printer to appear here we can see Epson ET2760 series select it 
click add device our printer is ready as we can see here now look for your 2760 series here select it click on the manage button from here you can see you can print a test page or you can do other things or if you want to use a scanning select this box click scanner and open scanner so this way we can do the setup of this printer and then add in any device we want for wireless printing and scanning thanks for watching